I thought this movie was going to be terrible. I'm not even going to lie. I heard the idea, I watched the trailer, I assumed the dog would die, and I was all set up to hate this movie. Question is, was I right? Oh my god! Penguin numbers in the Middle Island Sanctuary are dropping at record rates. So much so that they actually run the risk of no longer being able to be classed as a sanctuary because the penguin numbers are so low. On top of this, if the number of penguins drops below 10, automatically the sanctuary is going to be shut down and a whale watching center is going to be built over it. It's up to Swampy the farmer, his granddaughter Olivia, and his clumsy but lovable dog Oddball to save the penguins and the day. Shane Jacobson plays Swampy the farmer and I honestly have to say that he did a pretty good job. I thought that he was just going to rely on slapstick humor way, way too much considering the sort of character that he is, but he didn't at all. Coco Jack Gillies plays Swampy's granddaughter Olivia. She's only nine, so I'm going a bit easy on her, but she really was great, especially for her age. She's already been in things like Mad Max Fury Road, I think she was in like a cartoon or something, and now this. She, she's doing pretty good for herself if she's only nine years old, that's insane. Deborah Mailman plays the character of the mayor, which is kind of interesting because we don't see the character much. I have to say she was fantastic in the scenes that we actually do see her. I just love her and I love seeing her in things because she's such a good actor. Sarah Snook plays Swampy's daughter, Emily. Actually pretty good. Richard Davies plays Jack, a guy who works for the sanctuary. He protects the penguins at night with a trank gun and obviously the foxes are still getting them so he kind of sucks at his job. In the first half of the movie he was kind of off to me and I felt a bit suspicious about him. But in the second half of the movie he was hilarious. He was used as comic relief and I thought that he really broke up the serious scene. For example, there's a part where he accidentally gets shot in the foot by a trank gun and there's this whole scene where he's yelling at the police <laughs> through a megaphone, high as balls, on top of his car roof. It's, it's honestly hilarious. I don't know, I liked him in this. Frank Woodley played a dog catcher in this movie and I really didn't like him or his character. He plays the character like the classic kids movie character, you know, the one, you know exactly the one. The, oh, I hate dogs and I'm a massive creep so I'm gonna work at a dog pound. I'm pretty sure we're all sick of this character, especially me. I just really hate that cliche character. His lines really weren't amazing, and his whole existence made like this 20 minute subplot that I felt didn't have to exist. Like, why, why does Oddball have to be caught? Uh, th okay, what? I think the movie would have been better, albeit shorter, without him. That's, that's nothing to do with him personally. It's more with the character. Honestly, I've seen some of the other stuff with him, like his own TV show, and I thought that was great. I really like him, just not this character. Something that took me completely by surprise when watching this film was how well directed it actually was. I was not expecting it at all. Even within the first five minutes, there's some really good long takes that go through the house, go through the walls, and I feel like it introduces the movie in a really good way. The drone shots were absolutely beautiful and it really just showed me how amazing the landscape is up in Warrnambool and it makes me want to visit there. I mean, that's definitely very realistic because it's in my state, so I could go there. There are actually some pretty good set pieces, the most notable of which is the actual, like, Middle Island set, even though the green screen wasn't amazing. I still really enjoyed it. The characters were likable enough, even. That being said, though, there definitely were some little things that I didn't like about this movie. First of all, the whole, oh no, foxes are killing the penguins, but there's also a hooded person that goes to the island at night and, I guess, kills them? Subplot was decent at best, but it was also inconsistent. It was introduced in the start to like, ooh, rise some tension. Then in the middle, it was completely gone and I forgot about it. Then at the end, it was introduced again to try and get like a sore Bioshock plot twist, but it, it did nothing. Right now, you can choose from Pan or this, or you could just go in the kids section of Netflix and cook up some popcorn. Yeah, I'd recommend going with that. The script is good, but there are some subplots that you just won't remember walking out of this movie. And there are a bunch of subplots that go nowhere, like the ending or when Oddball gets caught. Then they have the whole release the hounds on the evil dog pound guy scene that I am just tired of seeing. There are so many subplots that go nowhere. But overall, 
It is just a harmless little kids movie, and it's fun for the whole family. I mean, it, it's not as much fun as the Lego movie, but hey. I don't give this my seal of approval just because I wouldn't see it again, honestly. And I give it a 7 out of 10 for the surprisingly good directing. Have you guys seen this? What did you think of it? Do you have any other movies that you want me to review? Good? Bad? Worse? Do you have any movies that you're on the fence about, or do you just want to punish me with terrible movies? Anyway, whatever it is, put them in the comment section below. I actually read them. Anyway, have a great day and happy watching.